Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my how-to videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to access the engineering menu on the NTG 2.5 version of command. Now the 2.5 version appeared around 2006 on the 211 E-Class and 219 CLS models as well as a few other Mercedes around this time period. If you have the older NTG1 command, please see my video showing you how to access the same menu on that. So the easiest way to spot if you have the 2.5 version is to look for the SD card located at the top of the unit above the CD drive. Another way to spot is to check if the telephone icons are coloured in red and green as opposed to simply being white. Make sure you have the key in position 1 and turn on the unit. Wait for it to power up. Now unlike the older version of command you can be on any screen when you try to access this menu. Ok, so hold down the following buttons at the same time. Encore, star and the number 6. Now keep them held down for around 5 seconds until the screen changes and the engineering menu is displayed. Now that's Encore, star and the number 6. And as I previously mentioned, the great thing about this version of command is that you can activate this menu on any screen you may currently be on. Now I'm not going to pretend that I know what all the following screens and menus do. But a word of warning, if you start messing around in all the menu options, you can potentially break your command unit. So please tread carefully and proceed at your own risk. So once in the engineering menu, you'll see there's two options available at the bottom of the screen. Menu and Applications. Use the left and right buttons to toggle between them, press OK to go into the various sub-menus. Under Menu, you're greeted with the following options. Software Download version and EMC measure mode. As you can see, once you go into these various pages, you can scroll through various different system information and stats. The menus just roll around between the different pages, so to go back at any point, just press the backup button. Now moving over to the application menu, again you get a series of options. Accessing these allows you to toggle the audio and telephone settings. Uh, I personally avoid changing any of these unless you know exactly what you're doing. Then if you move on to the system menu, you might find this fairly useful if you're diagnosing battery issues as it displays the live reading of the voltage coming from the car. To come completely out of the engineering screens, simply press the back button twice in succession. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you click on that subscribe button. Also, make sure you click on the bell icon to receive notifications so you don't miss any of my future content. Until next time, thanks a lot for watching, cheers.